on, get a girl and girls. Let's stand up and welcome our it girl today's Lisa Cypress came out. Woo! Come on, mama. Let's get happy. Oh, wow. Oh, oh you, you look beautiful. Yeah. Oh, wow. Welcome, come on in. Thank you. Please, please. Oh, yes. You look fine, thank girl. You. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Have that dress seat. is everything. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for like. Getting all dolled up for us. Oh, I mean, well, thanks for having me. Oh. Are worth getting dolled up for. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you got me. Yeah. So, so Lisa, you have um, your your whole brand is harvesting happiness, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you think that our generation is looking more for happiness more than other generations? Like, are we kind of lost looking for that? This is a great question because mm -hmm. I think in my generation, for example, you got on a path, you know, you graduated high school, you went to college, you went into career and that was life. You made your family and that was the story that you told. I think you ladies mm -hmm. and everybody of your generation, my own children included, have the advantage of so much choice which is really exciting, mm -hmm. but the flip side of so much choice is the stress of making a good choice. Yes. You know, it's the course. paradox. Yeah, I was yeah. just gonna yeah. ask that. It's like having too many choices, because sometimes I go to a store, I'm like, why can't you just give me one thing, thing to yeah. choose from? You it's know, like, like responsibility. It's a lot. Huge. To, yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. with like dating apps and stuff like that, like romantic, there's so many like fish in the sea. So many swipes. So many, <laughs> so many swipes, so many likes. Right. You know, so much opportunity, so uh -huh. little time, you know, this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And that can impede happiness. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. when we when when we have infinite choices, we go, oh my God, what do I do next? Yes. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So simplicity can be one of the ingredients for happiness. I definitely think simplicity is a huge key. Often less is more, right? Mm -hmm. You know, you I, I heard you talking amongst yourselves when I was waiting out there, and I was so heartfelt what you were talking about to excuse me, defining happiness, defining success. Mm -hmm. And it really, you, you're trailblazing. You know, you're teaching the next generation what it means to be happy now. Mm -hmm. Not conditional happiness, when I get rich, when I yeah. get married, mm -hmm. when I have a kid, you know, when I get the toys that I think. It's that choice. Yes, right. it's that choice. What yeah. am I gonna do right now to make, to make myself happy or at least experience some level of happiness even though life might not be happy right now. Yeah. Right? It's interesting that you said the choice stuff because even for myself, whenever I get to the place where I'm like, oh, what do I do? It's all based down on too many choices. Yes. And so I even put a Facebook post up the other day that said, what have I done today? Have I put energy and love towards my relationships and my friends? Have I put energy and love towards my one goal? Yeah. Towards one goal, and that was it. And as long as I've done that, then I, I don't need to be so hard on myself. Well, this is another thing, is that hard on oneself, that mm -hmm. we're our own worst critics, right? Oh, and if, yeah, we're, yeah. if we're talking oh, about yeah. happiness, right? Yeah. Happiness is also part of emotional fitness. So when we yeah. have the ability to work those mental muscles as we do the physical ones, you know, the, yeah. you know our biceps and our triceps, <laughs> um, we, we bolster our, our, our positive well-being. Social you know? media, do you feel like that is something that is for fitness or not for fitness? I think it's both. Mm -hmm. Here, herein lies that choice thing again. You know, social media is the greatest thing in that it can connect us with people around the world in real time at any time. This is beautiful because right. as humans, we're hardwired for connection, for belonging, yeah, absolutely. for communication. But the downside is what social media can do to our brains. You know, Ooh, and, and you ladies, hearts. I'm sure, have heard yeah. you know oh. some of the latest research coming out. You know, the dopamine rush that we get from mm -hmm. being on social media. How yeah. social media, the developers of these apps and these systems, really are tapping into our brains in ways that we're not 100% sure what's going on. Get yet. out of there, guys. Yeah. It's mine. Yeah. Get out of there. Yeah. Let, me, let me ask you a question: with with success and, and happiness, can you have it all? Or have both. Can you have your cake Can and you eat have it, too? it all? Can you have your cake and eat it too? Because you know that women say you can't have it all. Can you have it all? I believe that you can have okay. it all. But I don't know that you, you heard it here. Yeah, guys, you can have it all. On Get It Girl, you can have it all. But <laughs> the question is can you have it all at once? That's the question. And what are you willing to give, give up? up? Right. What are you willing to compromise? That's a, that's you know? a beautiful mm -hmm. way of looking at you know, it. Yeah. You know, if you, are, uh, as women, we want to be career people. We want to make a, a difference in the world, have a life of impact. We want to raise families. We want to have good, loving, connected relationships. So maybe we give up the house being spotless. Or maybe we give mm -hmm. up this notion of, you know, the white picket fence for mm -hmm. something else that is a greater sense mm -hmm. of, uh, of unity, mm -hmm. community, family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so it's the idea of like this knowledge, because I kind of said this before, this knowledge of success to me is knowing that I will have all the things that I want, but maybe I can't have them all at the exact same time. Well, or maybe you have them and you don't see it. 
Ooh. You know, maybe they're here right now. Interesting. And you're not necessarily seeing it. Uh huh. That's interesting. And, and as far as success, what? How do you define success? Well, I sort of uh, uh, quadruple what you were saying. You know, really, it's a life of impact, a life of meaning. Do I feel like when I put my head down on the pillow at the end of the day, have I been wrung out by life today? Have I given it my yeah. best? Mm -hmm. And, you know, going back to love, I say this corny thing that makes people roll their eyes, but have you made love to life? Yeah. We expect wow, so much from good. life that life that's should give us really these good. things. Yeah.